Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you as a subby friend. So today's video is really cool. And somebody sent me this. It was a link from TikTok. So I'm not sure who came up with this ideas, but whoever did, kudos to them. It wasn't my idea, but I just tried it. Okay, so this is really awesome. And if you do sublimation, so this is a sublimation um, cup. I used my, my Cricut mug press and my sublimation printer. So look how saturated and like beautiful this picture is. So I use this picture to try it, see how it would turn out. And I am so overly impressed. So this is a photocopy of a piece of material. So I put a piece of material in my printer and scanned it and made a sublimation out of it. And it looks so good. So the one that they sent me, and I've seen the material all the time in Walmart, um, on the TikTok, they did like the Avengers and it was the material with like all the little round Avengers people on there and super cute. So you could do like anything. This is just, you know, the material that I had that I wanted to try and like, I am so impressed, so impressed by it. And, you know, I was thinking, of course, you know, just aside from being able to put anything on the mug, you know, how cute, like if you're somebody who sews and you're doing like maybe pajamas and then you do like mug that matches or you could use the material and make like a drawstring gift bag with the matching mug inside, like just super cute. But I am just so impressed at how this turned out. It is so good. Like it turned, I just dropped it. <laughs> I sure did just drop it. Anyways, it did turn out so good, even though I just broke it. But that's okay. I. <laughs> I'll make another one. Anyways, be careful. Don't drop it. I dropped it and broke it. So, see? But anyways, look, this turned out so good. And um, I'm gonna show you how I did it. So listen, I can't believe I dropped it. That's hilarious. And you know, I'm leaving it on because that's funny as crap. Anyways, listen, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. Don't drop your mugs. And, but this is really, really, really cool. So keep watching, I'm gonna show you how I did it. All right, I'll see you guys later, bye. Oh my gosh, this is Reese's first time in my craft room and keeping him out of stuff is not easy. He, the good thing is he doesn't really chew stuff up, but he wants to take everything. And then he takes it and he runs out back with it he thinks that he, if he gets out back with it, he has a, a spool of Baker's twine right now. And he thinks if he gets out back with it, that he's safe. Oh my gosh, he's such a puppy. But the good thing is he's really not biting us anymore. A little bit here and there, but he stops when you tell him to. 
and he's not like chewing things up. He just likes to play with stuff. So that's a good thing. All right. Anyways, so this is going to be a really cool project, I think. So we're going to do this for the first time together. Somebody sent me a TikTok of someone like doing this and I thought it was really cool. So what we're going to do is take our material. So I have this uh, piece of material here. So this is Beauty and the Beast. Now on the one that was sent to me, they used like the Avengers and it was a bunch of different, you know, small little advent Avengers characters, which I think is also like a really good idea. So I'm just going to kind of take this where I think I want to copy it. You would think, like, I mean, I want the Beauty and the Beast, but honestly, I like the rose the best out of this, and I like the color, so I just want to make sure the rose is kind of in the center. I mean, you're going to do what you like. I'm going to put this down. All right, so you put a piece of paper in. Now, I am just going to copy... Oh gosh, who knows where that dog is right now. All right, so we're just gonna copy it. All right, so here, is our piece so now the mug so here's my mug so my mug is you know definitely smaller than my piece and honestly if I wanted to I could get several well not several but I could get two out of this easily so I think I'm gonna go to here I'll get this beauty and this rose so I'm going to just go and cut along here. And I could definitely get another one out of that. So then I'm going to take this and I'm going to tape it. Cut off this extra piece here. And I'm just going to put some tape on it. So I've got a few Christmas projects that I'm going to be doing with the um, mug press. So we'll be doing some of those. So I haven't used my mug press in a little bit, but the mug press is really, really great this time of year because you could do some really nice gifts for people. All right. So we're going to go over to the mug press and I'm going to put my mug in. And I'm going to close it down and we'll go to fast mode and let it work. All right, so we're done. Lift it out. Now the handle is fine, but the outside of the cup is hot.
well. Holy crap. Ooh, it's hot, sorry. Okay. Um Wow. I'll I'll put it to normal for in a minute. I wanted to put it up close so you could really see. Holy, holy crap. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. Look at that. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Well, okay then. There you go. So this works. This, my friends, most definitely works. What do you think? That's crazy. All right. Okay, race. All right, now Reese is grabbing all kinds of stuff. Would you like to see what he did with the yarn? I'll show you. Say hi. Sit. Show him how you sit. Sit. No, show him how you're a good boy. Sit. Good job. Good job. You show him you're a good boy. You're learning. You tell him you're learning. You're getting so big. Of course, if my husband finds a dog out in the woods, it's going to be one that's going to be huge. Look how big he's getting. And he's seriously 13 weeks. All right. I'm going to show you what he's done. <laughs> Chloe. Okay. So like I said, he doesn't really chew things up. He plays with things. But there is the ball of twine. In the little bit of time that that took, yep, there's the ball of twine. He moved the table, threw off the pillows, and yep. It's like having a little toddler in the house. And Chloe's just laying over there ignoring him. All right, listen, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. And listen, I hope this project was helpful to you. And uh, if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you later, friends. Bye.